Hello, this is Gang Lee, Associate Professor and Director of Building Informatics Group at Yonsei University. I apologize that I couldn't physically join the meeting today. Um, and it is my pleasure to introduce XPPM, Extended Process to Product Modeling, to everyone uh, here at the Process Room Workshop. XPPM stands for Extended Process to Product Modeling. It is a method and a software tool that can help IDM developers efficiently develop IDMs based on ISO 29481-1. XPPM enables users to create a single IDM MVD model that integrates a process map, exchange requirements, functional parts, and IFC model view definitions. I'll briefly show several videos that demonstrate the main functions of XPPM. Creating a new project. XPPM tool is developed in Java. You can start a new IDM project by clicking the XPPM icon. To create a new project, select New Document. Interface Overview. The XPPM interface is composed of a menu bar, a quick launch, a model navigation view, a process node explorer, a process map window pane, a BPMM palette, and a BPMM properties window pane. Specifying the process map overview information. To specify the process map information, click Create Process Map Overview from the XPPM menu. You can fill in the process map information step by step. Exchange requirements information is empty now. The exchange requirements information will be automatically added when exchange requirement objects are added to the process map later. Drawing a process map. Process map can be drawn by dragging and dropping BPM and elements from the BPM and palette and specifying names and other properties. Specifying an exchange requirement. An exchange requirement is represented as a data object in BPMN. You can specify exchange requirement information by double-clicking a data object shape. The exchange requirement window, which conforms to the contents of exchange requirements specified by ISO 29481-1, will pop up. Users can specify the exchange requirement information by going through the tabs one by one. Automatically added exchange requirements to the process map overview. If you go back to the process map overview window, you can see that the exchange requirements newly added to a process map automatically appear in the process map overview window as associated exchange requirements. Specifying a functional part. There are two ways to add a functional part. You can specify a functional part first and associate the functional part with exchange requirements, or you can specify a functional part from an exchange requirement. The functional part window also follows the ISO 29481-1 standard. The major difference between a typical IDM specification method and the XPPM method is that the XPPM uses the IFC structure to specify the technical section of the functional part. The technical sections of the currently developed drafts of functional part reports include many inconsistencies or vague definitions. Users can specify IFC entities and properties associated with the functional part by selecting them from an IFC menu. This method will guarantee users to create a consistent and clear definition of functional parts and also will reduce a mapping process between an IDM and an MVD. If a new version of IFC is released, users can simply update the technical section of functional parts and save the XPPM IDM project as an updated project, as if users create a new MVD associated with an IDM when a new IFC is released. Dealing with information not included in the current IFC. Information that is not included in the current IFC can be added as a user-defined entity or a property to the target IFC model. Later, the user-defined elements can be automatically collected and reviewed by this IFC development committee and may be included in the next release of IFC. Exporting the current functional parts as an IFC model view definition. 
Another advantage of the XBPM approach is that an IFC model view definition is a byproduct of the XBPM-based IDM development process. An IFC model view definition can be extracted automatically and directly from the functional part definitions. The XPPM tool automatically collects only the IFC elements associated with functional part definitions and exports them as a valid IFC subset model. Exporting an exchange requirement as an XML file. A selected exchange requirement can be exported as an XML file by selecting Export Selected Exchange Requirement from the XBPM menu. After selecting an exchange requirement to export, specify the name of the XML file. The exported XML file can be uploaded onto a centralized IDM database for open worldwide web search in the future. In generating an exchange requirement document from an XML file. An exchange requirement document that conforms to the ISO 29481 standard can be automatically generated using the IDM report generator. Click the Create ER menu and select an exchange requirement XML file which you want to convert into a typical exchange requirement report format. Here's the automatically generated exchange requirement report. In XPPM, when changes are made, it is not necessary to go through all the exchange requirements and functional part reports to reflect the changes. Once an XPPM is updated, all the reports generated from the XPPM model will be automatically updated. This automated report generation process from an XPPM model will reduce the chance of making unsynchronized exchange requirement and functional part documents. By the same token, functional parts can be exported as an XML file after selecting a functional part to export and specifying the XML file name. An ISO compatible functional part report will be automatically generated, again using the IDM report generation tool. Here is the automatically generated functional part report. Importing an exchange requirement. An exported exchange requirement file can be read into a new or working IDM project. This demonstration shows how to read in an exchange requirement file into a new project. Currently, it is practically impossible to reuse exchange requirements or functional parts specified by other projects or previous projects, although the same exchange requirements and functional parts are meant to be reused without redefining them. This exchange requirement import function enables users to reuse exchange requirements generated by other or previous projects. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration videos. You can find tutorial videos and more information about XPPM from the XPPM website at the link below. Uh, if you are interested in using XPPM or in developing XPPM together with us, Yansei, uh, please contact me, Gang Li at gli, g -l -e, at yansei.ac.kr. Uh, my student, Yonghyun Park, is currently attending the uh, this meeting. So, Yonghyun, please stand up or uh, wave your hand, and um, you can also ask her questions. Thank you, and I wish the uh, meeting to be very productive and fruitful for the rest of the day. Thank you very much.